Once I loved such a shattering physician Quite the best looking doctor in the state He looked after my physical condition And his bedside manner was great When I'd gaze up and see him there above me Looking less like a doctor than a turk I was tempted to whisper, do you love me, or do you merely love your work? He said my bronchial tubes were entrancing, my epiglottis filled him with glee. He simply loved my larynx and went wild about my pharynx, but he never said he loved me. He said my epidermis was darling and found my blood as blue as could be. He went through wild ecstatics when I showed him my lymphatics, but he never said he loved me. And though no doubt it was not very smart of me, I kept on a racking my soul to figure out why he loved every part of me and yet not me as a whole. With my esophagus, he was ravished, enthusiastic to a degree. He said, "'Twas just enormous, my appendix vermiformis." But he never said he loved me. He said, "'My cerebellum was brilliant, "'and my cerebrum far from NG. I know he thought a lot of my mandala oblongata, but he never said he loved me. He said my maxillaries were marvels and found my sternum stunning to see. He did a double hurdle when I shook my pelvic girdle, but he never said he loved me. He seemed amused. When he first made a test of me to further his medical art, yet he refused when he fixed up the rest of me to cure that ache in my heart. I know he thought my pancreas perfect, and for my spleen was keen as could be. He said of all his sweeties. I the sweetest diabetes, but he never said. No, he never said. No, he never said he loved me. He murmured multibella when I sat on his patella, but he never said he loved me. He took a fleeting look at my thorax and started singing slightly off key. He cried, may heaven strike us when I played my umbilicus. But he never said he loved me. As it was dark, I suggested we walk about before he returned to his post. Once in the park, I induced him to talk about the thing I wanted the most. He lingered on with me 
until morning. Yet when I tried to pay him his fee, he said, why don't be funny? It is I who owe you money. But he never 